Okay, so unlike the angry experience I've had with the iPhone, the Apple Watch has been pretty good to me, but not today. This is today is the, um, well, it's a little, it's one o'clock in the morning now almost. It'll be September 20, um, yesterday was September 19th, 2022. And what's so great about that date? Well, not great, but what sucks about it? Well, what really sucks about that date is that's when the Apple Care on my Apple Watch expires. And guess what? Today was the exact day when it read 79% of our battery health. And it said the battery is now degrading. Now, from what I understand, I might be able to get a fix on this. I think it's only for if there's a battery malfunction or something, not if it's just wear and tear. But either way, I still had somewhat of a chance to get another battery for my watch. And then I flipped it up. How much would it be to just have them replace it? And I think $80. I'm not going to put $80 into a watch just so tomorrow, I don't know, something else could malfunction with the thing. Remember, they're only going to replace the watch battery. Or Actually, no, some people said they just replaced the entire watch and send a refurbished one to you. So you're going to spend... $80 for them to give you a refurbished watch that could probably crash in less time than you got out of this? I don't think so. Not a good idea. So, um, how much longer could I possibly get before it got so bad uh, I can't use it anymore? I think maybe one more year I could get. Right now, I, usually I get through the day, but there are some days where out of nowhere my watch dies. Like right now, it did not get to 10% yet. And, and I had a lot of, act, I had a pretty good amount of activity on my watch today. Then there's other days when I have almost no activity and my watch dies at like 12 o'clock. So I don't understand that. And that's when you have a battery that doesn't have a c capacity in it anymore. Um, I understand from what I read, I think it was 550 charges. It starts to degrade after that. It was a 650 or whatever it was. So I'm pretty much at the point where it's degrading time. And it kind of sucks that it, it had to do this now. If it had given me another one or two days of cushion, I could have probably gone to the Apple Store and they might have been able to do something for me. But now I'm screwed because no Apple Store was open by the time I noticed this. And I checked it. We'll check it in settings again and I'll tell you exactly what it says. Just for future reference, if anyone cares, but in the future of... I'm at 13... I'm at 13% right now, and I put this on at about 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's 12, 13, 14. We have 15 hours. This thing is supposed to be rated at 16, so obviously I'm having issues. All right, it says power, low power mode is off. Um, oh, what the, and on battery health, important battery messages. The battery's capacity is significantly reduced to restore capacity. Please check your service options. Maximum capacity, 79%. Now, there's a chance that it could go back to 80. And the reason why I say that is because a long time ago, um, let's just say a, lo a long time ago, well, it wasn't a really long time ago, it was maybe a month or two ago, I was at 81, 80 percent battery capacity. It went up to 81%, and then it went back down to 80%. Now it's at 79%, and I don't think it's ever going to go above 79%. Uh, I wish there were better options for people. There should be a buyback program or something where you can get like $50 or $100 towards another watch. The good thing about this is, is if, if this craps the bed, I have th um, three other watches I can use. I have a Series 2, 4, and 5. The 2 would be almost completely unusable on a daily basis, even though it functions perfectly fine. I can't bring it outside and do all these other crazy things with it. It doesn't have cell phone network, but still, I, I think it would be too slow and it would freeze up. Besides, that's the, the sleep watch I use just to my heart rate. I don't care about sleep tracking. And um, I guess I can use a Series 4 or 5, but the problem with that is with no cell phone connectivity, I can't really go anywhere without my phone. That's the whole point of having this one right here. Having cell phone connectivity. Without that, you're screwed. Especially if you go walking like I do. I don't want to take my phone everywhere with me. Especially in places where I'm afraid it could get stolen, robbed, 
or whatever it might be. But unfortunately, it looks like eventually they'll that'll happen. I'm going to tell everyone right now. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of watches right now that are available through Apple. You got this. I don't even know. Um, you got the uh, the what the watch SE whatever that that's the cheapest model I think right now, because they just could they got rid of the series three recently, so there's a series um eight watch that just came out. They even got an ultra. I like the ultra watch because I was thinking. That can probably only be recharged just about as many times as the other watches, but it has a bigger battery and it lasts a lot longer. So you probably won't have to put it on the charger every single night. And every other two nights, that means it might last twice as long. But unfortunately, the Ultra Watch is like 700 bucks. So $700 is a lot of money for a watch. And as much as I might want one that's very water resistant, you can go go down to scuba diving depth in the water. It seems like a great thing. It's, I don't think it's worth $700. I think it's worth just as much as all the other watches. And maybe they could lower the other watch watches a little more on money, but whatever. Um, who do I blame? Do I blame anyone in particular for this? Not really. I understand the watches wear out after a while. Not all of them last the same amount of time, but I'm just a little disappointed because there's really no options for anyone when they lose a watch. It's pretty much screw you, just come buy another one and that's it. The repairs don't make any sense. For the people who actually put a new war a new battery in their watch, they're taking a huge room, not even a new battery. If you pay the eighty dollars, I think they give you a refurbished one, like I said, because it's nearly impossible to take these things apart. You're taking the risk of not having another watch that could last very long. I don't like refurbished stuff. If they give you something that's refurbished, how do you know how long that battery is gonna last? Because it's not brand new. No way in hell it's a brand new battery. So you have to think, well, well, how long will it last? Will it last as long as this one? What a disappointment. You know, what a disappointment for electronics lately. Whole summer, all kinds of problems with my laser disc player having to get that, finally work that out. Well, I, I found a display that works good on. Then I then I have all these other problems, and, and now here comes the, the phone, which I'm disappointed in. And the watch, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in the watch, though. That's the thing. This always-on display, a lot of people complain it's rather useless. I like it because I can just glance at my watch now without raising my wrist all the time. I can see the time and all the other stuff that's on it. That's a really neat kind of feature. Unfortunately, people don't see it that way. Way better than the watch's display thing, though. Since people leave a, you know, wa your phone in, the, in a pocket all the time, what's the point of having an always-on display on the iPhone? It doesn't really make much sense to me. But people will argue with you all day to justify what they say, just like me. Everyone has a different opinion. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see what happens with this watch, but I don't see it lasting uh, more than another year, if anything. It could probably crap out a lot faster. Since I'm at 79%, I'm probably not going to get get anywhere near 16 to 18 hours anymore. Maybe 14, 15 hour days. I can... I can work with that. I, I can work with that. But my phone's going to die every night from 12 to 1 o'clock in the morning. Right now it didn't die yet. But if I have a big day with, say, a bunch of football scores that I get for notifications, forget it. It's going to die right away. All right. Bye-bye.